this is uh, getting darker and darker. Yeah, and the sun's going down. I want to hold her. I want to cry with her. But at long last, I had the virus. I couldn't even go near her or risk of an infection. Mia, I'm sorry. But you need to get out of the classroom. I don't want you getting infected too. Go outside and wait for the ambulance to get here. Don't worry about me, I'll be fine. You're a dead man coughing. Hurry, go now. Oh crap, she's not responding, man. And I'm already bleeding on the inside. She's still there to continue to sob. I understand your pain, yeah. But you have to get out of here. Don't let yourself get sick, too. I don't want that. And neither would they. Continue the evil laughter. My body began to convulse. My vision had gone completely blurry. Some of my fans must have suffered the moments of their death, but it was clear that an ambulance wouldn't make it in time to save me. I didn't have much time left. I didn't want, to want me to watch me die slowly. Her poor mind's already branded with the image of her dead friends. She's assuming a lot. And that's what's I already, <laughs> that's already more than one need to see. I had to get her to leave the room. Mia. Mia. Damn it. I was coughing up more blood than before. From my insides with a lot of fire! What? What kind of crazy fires was this anyway? How did my friends and I contract it in the first place? No. Doesn't matter anymore. All that matters, I need to get Mia to leave before she gets infected, too. But she won't leave! She's continued to face the wall and saw. And there wasn't any time for that. Hey, I'm hurry, Mia. Get out of here. You have to go. Quickly, before you get sick. Run. Run away. Get out of here, Mia. How loud I screwed up, Mia. She wouldn't budge. And my health deteriorating rapidly. I couldn't keep it up any longer. I collapsed onto the floor. Struggled to breathe. There's nothing more I could do. We refused to leave. I didn't have the strength to force her. At this rate, we're both gonna die. I was already through the thick of it. But Mia had yet to suffer the horrific pain of coughing up her inside. Still at the point, it didn't seem to matter anymore. Dying was a brief experience in contrast to what came afterwards. She would be liberated from the pain before too long. And with that, I closed my eyes and waited to come to an end. Strange. Despite my inevitable death and the intense pain in my body, and my body of friends lying sprawled around me, I felt peace. It was as if, at this point, the world had suddenly gone quiet. Say the lonely sounds from Mia sobbing in front of me. Hmm? What, she's sobbing in front of me? Uh... I see... Now I can hear it more clearly. That off sounds a lot like... Nah! Couldn't be. It's laughter. Strong. There's no way she could be... laughing. With my eyes, lift my head back up towards where Mia was standing at this whole time. My vision was almost completely blurred. With the strain in my eyes just to make out the shape of the body over the chalkboard. Mia facing towards me. She appeared to move in 
closer. Which explains why the song was getting louder. No, I didn't realize it was stopping at all. She might have seen it hard to get a better look at her. And I saw. Standing in front of me was Mia. And she was laughing. But it was the same giggling type of laughter. Like from the all the times we were playing at lunch. This was completely different laughter. As it grew louder, it began to sound cold and more menacing. More evil. Holy crap! What have you done, Dark Fang? Seriously, come on. All I did was invite my friends. This shouldn't even be a damn ending. But whatever. Press it. You done killed us all. I couldn't believe I was hearing. And here we are in a room filled with four dead people and one dying person. Me was laughing out like some great big joke. There's no way she could be in this malice. It had to be symptoms of the virus. Early on, Mia was giggling outside. I figured that's because she was exhibiting the signs of infection. But before she went to the classroom, she had completely stopped giggling and reverted back to her normal self. And after we entered the classroom and found the body, she started up again. But if that's the case, then why weren't the other sister present? And the others? Why did we all bleed out with our mouth while Mia was having a mental episode? And why was she still fine while the others were dead? It didn't make any sense. It's not like she poisoned us or anything. Hey, dumbass, who are you trying to kid? You know damn well what's going on. Yeah, it's been staring at you in the face this entire time, stupid. You figured it out long ago. You just didn't want to believe me or outside you. You just want to be the contrarian to control the body and say, like, hey, she's not killing us. Oh, sorry, we're wearing glasses. You try to hide behind the rose tinted glasses and tell yourself. Everything was okay. This was all some freak accident. Oh well, look, my friends are six. So am I. Everyone's six. Is this the damnedest thing? Oh wait a minute. Yeah, not everyone's sick. The only person here is standing healthy as a horse. How peculiar. Well, surely there's a reasonable explanation for all this. It could be something like that. No, of course. Are we arguing with ourselves? Yes, really. Oh, God damn it! Should I read this? Uh, sure. Knock yourself out. <laughs> that can't be right. That's just insane. It's all just one big misunderstanding. It's really not as bad as it looks. It'll work out. You'll <laughs> see. God damn. All I need to do is have faith and everything will be alright. I need God. the Falcon punch him. Ah! Some faith. The words got you. Your friends are dead. I'm pretty sure you'll be dead too. Yep. Looks like you were right. Just sit tight. Because everything's gonna be alright. Shut up. What he said. Ah! No, that was the one line. <laughs> that was all the lines. <laughs> Continue to condemn myself within my own mind. Evidently, my own son conscious was more sarcastic than I was. Oh, <laughs> shit. Eventually, I reached a point where I couldn't just take it anymore, and I screamed myself to stop. No. Oh. Alright, apparently she heard us. And process it caused me to suffer insane laughter. Using what physical strength I had, I had the remaining need to crane my neck to look up at her. And turn she looked down to where I lie on the floor. She a short while passed before anyone said anything. 
And then Mia opened her mouth. How are you feeling, Darfe? Why shouldn't you know it? Her voice lacked any ounce of sympathy. Just like two people passing each other on the street just simply asking me for the first time. If I had any strength, I'd probably scream at her. Instead, I answered with an equi equally vacant sounding voice. My friends are dead. Calm down, Bruce Wayne. Hmm? Nothing. I'm knocking on death's door. And all the while, here you are laughing it up like this is one big comedy skit. So, to answer your question, Mia, I felt better. I see. That's good. Though, I guess not really. Dark thing had gone sick much earlier, he wouldn't be hurting anymore. Such a shame. She continually gazed at me with hollowed eyes. My vision would blur. At least I could determine that much. I wasn't sure how long I, much longer I could, was going to last. But I can't die just yet. There are still some questions yet to be answered. And this girl had all the answers. I want you to tell me. Damn it. I want you to tell me what's going on here. Isn't it obvious? Dark Fane the third is dying, and Dark Fane the fourth is might be even better. That's not what I meant, and you know it. What I want to know is why I'm dying. And why are the others dead? Why are you still okay? Why did all of this happen? That sure is a lot of questions to be asking. I wonder if I can ask them all of them before Dark Fang goes to sleep. Fine. If that's too much to handle, then just answer one question. If you can answer this one single question, then I can die without regret. Alright. Ask me one single question, and I'll answer it. Okay, then. Mia, why did you lie? Lie? I lied? It's not right. I didn't lie. Tell me when I lied. Today, when you pretended to be their friends. All throughout lunch, we were laughing and having fun. And you were right there laughing along with us. And at least that's how it would have looked to anybody who was watching us. Hell, even me, the people in the group were fooled by your act. You really thought you had chosen to become part of the team. Alright. But you and I both know that wasn't really the case. God damn boy, damn man, you can show me those happy boys. I know! I'm, 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 I'm trying to figure out do I want to just rapidly press this button? Or you can read it and I can fast forward it. <laughs> okay. Making us torment to this. You were laugh. You were only pretending to have fun. And you were only pretending to be up their friend. When deep down you wanted nothing more than for them to die. That, Mia, is when you lied. And what I want to know is why. You told me never to laugh again. Everything that third is silly. Got myself all mixed up. This wasn't right. It just exposed me to her own lies. 
She should be sweating bullets and struggling to come up with the answer. But instead, she giggled at me like I just make a humiliating mistake. What's so funny? What did I miss? I can't laugh. Like I said, I didn't lie. Time frame there was misinterpreting what was really going on. What do you mean? What was there to misunderstand? I remember it all perfectly. You were you went out of your way to pretend to be their friends when really you hated them. When? Tell me when. When at the point that I said they were I was their friend. When at the point I said they were my friends. Well you refer to them as Dark Fane, the third friend. And that was before we even arrived at their table. Never considered their friends, nor did I say they were. You didn't have to. You implied it by pretending to laugh and play with them. Again, Dark Fane the Third is misinterpreting what really happened. Every time I laughed, every time I looked like I was having fun, that was all genuine. There was never any pretending. So you're telling me that, that although you hated them, you enjoyed being with them? That doesn't even work. No, it doesn't. You just read too much into it. Then explain it to me. Tell me what you really laughed and carried on about. What was so goddamn funny that it allowed you to laugh at the exact time that the people next to you were laughing at a joke that they told? The fly in the ice cube. Huh? I'm more confused about this than you are. Oh god, damn it. No. What? Just continue. <laughs> the fly in the ice cube. Classical practical joke. Stick a dead fly into the ice cream, fill it in water, and freeze it. And then we stick it up the ice cube in the person's drink and watch them drink it. They're completely unaware that it's there. From the time you stick it in, from the time they didn't realize it, it's already funny to watch. your lie. Dark Fang. <laughs> He's drinking yeah, his soda. I, no, I was just ignoring what she was saying. Um, yeah, <laughs> I realized that it was, okay, I got it. Everybody back off. I got it. She's so, sick. <laughs> so you're telling me that you were laughing and having fun because you secretly stuck a fly in their drinks? No. No, you stupid. Nobody was drinking anything at lunch, remember? Besides, that was just an example. The point is, I never pretend to laugh along with them. Therefore, I never lied. About being their friend. If in third was just reading too much into it. Any assumption that you made from what you witnessed is your own doing. Not mine's. And I say it again, I didn't lie. My head started to throb. That's because the uh, I was hemorrhaging the blood left, right, right and center. Me, yeah, I take my arm, came in tore to shreds. If she ever went to a trial for murders, her parents could probably save a lot of money just by simply having her as a representative for herself. God dang. In which case, she probably would win. The most uh, comforting thought, given the circumstance, she is sick. We need to get out of Dodge. Oh, no way. We can't. But what was the deal about the talk of the fly and ice cube? Give me a hint. Should make her... What was making her laugh? Said no one had a drink at the time. 
So what could she been laughing at? Similar to the flying ice cube. Does it make any sense? Hold up a minute. Yes, it did. It made absolutely sense. But, like I said to my old self earlier, I was just too naive to consider it. Give me the perfect leverage to restrain my claim. Mia did lie. And I can prove it. I got five bucks saying he's not going to prove it. Who's with me? Oh, I'm kind of with you. I'm pretty sure she's going to have a perfectly valid argument for it. Well, not perfectly valid. It's when I turn to Phoenix <laughs> correct. <laughs> Phoenix right, please. Yeah, screw it. I'm just going to roll with it. Mia. How are you still alive? <laughs> I'm wondering the same thing. That's not important right now. You are a naughty little lying. But now. Wow. I was pondering over what you just said. God damn, man. If you had any more vitality, you could have walked to the hospital. Hell, you could probably. No, nah, she'll probably stop you. Or follow behind you and watch you die slowly. And then track your corpse off somewhere. About the fly and the ice cubes. And it reminded me of something. It reminded me of just how tasty your ravioli was today. If I recall, you made two kinds. One white ones filled with veal and green ones filled with cheese. And if memory serves, the veal ones were extremely popular. In fact, you might even say that they were worth to die for. As I say, I might I have a request? A might I have a request? I want you to get a clip from Sonic Heroes and put Shadow's Line a date to die for. Just right here after this. Thank you. I know he just put no up there. Well then. It'll be a date to die for. Thy name is not Darkfang, the third. I seem to recall that you never ate any of the veal ones yourself. And when I inquired about it, you said the cheese ones are better for your health. Which, given the circumstances, was true. If memory serves, the only time you ever picked up a veal one was when you were feeding the to me. And even then, you would only pick them up with my fork. I guess you really didn't want to take any chances with them, did you? I must admit, that was a pretty clever move. Colored food, I mean, colored, wait, color coded food. Green was safe, and white was poisoned. You could eat your lunch in front of everybody without them having, I mean, being any the wiser. Then all you had to do was invite the rest of us to try some, knowing full well that we would mainly eat the poison villains. And if anyone saw you eat one person, I mean, first in favor of the other, 
they would issue, assume that you were either being courteous to the rest of us or that you simply prefer the one over the other. But meanwhile, you just had to sit back and watch everyone into uh, whatever their. What? Theoretical. Theoretical flies in an icebox. That was sad. <laughs> Wait, did you just say bite me? Um, not gonna say anything. Okay. Very clever, Mia. But tell me, was watching four human beings dying slowly and painfully really so goddamn funny? No, I wasn't watching I four. I was watching five. That actually might be your um, actual answer. Well. Uh, feeling 